Vivi Fluoride Eye Song Genres, Action, Sci-Fi, Suspense When highly evolved AI set out to eradicate mankind, the carnage that ensues fills the air with the stench of fresh blood and burning bodies. In a desperate bid to prevent the calamity from ever occurring, a scientist bets everything on a remnant from the past. Turning the clock back a hundred years, AIs are already an integral part of human society, programmed with specific missions meant to be carried out for their entire course of operation. Vivi, the first ever autonomous AI, is a songstress tasked with spreading happiness through her voice. In a theme park where she hardly ever gets a proper audience, she strives to pour her heart out into her performances, bound to repeat it day after day. That is, until an advanced AI from the future appears before her and enlists her help in stopping a devastating war a hundred years in the making. With no time to process the revelation that flips her world upside down, Vivi is catapulted into a century-long journey to avert the violent history yet to come. Number 9 Shin no Nakami, genres, adventure, slice of life, fantasy. A heroic and mighty adventurer dreams of... Opening a pharmacy? Red was once a member of the Heroes Party, a powerful group destined to save the world from the evil forces of Taraxin, a raging demon lord. That is, until one day, his comrades kicked him out. Hoping to live the easy life on the frontier, Red's new goal is to open an apothecary. However, keeping the secret of his former life may not be as simple as he thinks, especially when the beautiful Ritz, an adventurer from his past, shows up and asks to move in with him. Ari Ferreira Shokugio Deisekai Saikyu Second Season Genres, Action, Adventure, Fantasy after a magical circle suddenly appears at school, Hajime Nagumo and his classmates find themselves transported inside a church where they are welcomed as honored guests. Thrust into the magical RPG-like world of Tortoise, each student shows great promise in both strength and never-before-seen classes, well, everyone besides Hajime. Given the class Synergist, which boasts borderline average stats on top of being weak in combat, Hajime is soon considered to be useless by the rest of his class. Working towards strengthening themselves, the students descend into a dungeon, but a mishap causes the entire class to be plunged into danger. Cornered by a large demon, they are trapped on a bridge looming over the abyss, the only way out being in front of them. In an effort to save his class, Hajime declares himself as bait, hoping his sacrifice will grant a chance of escape for the others. Though he intends to escape as well, a stray fireball flies in his direction, sending him flying off the bridge and down into the depths of the dungeon. Miraculously surviving, Hajime now begins his quest of survival in an attempt to reach the surface. Subscribe now or truck will be visiting you real soon and uh, ooh, look at that, Berserk needs a few new cast members. I'd recommend subscribing. Nighthead 2041 Genres, Drama, Mystery, Sci-Fi, Supernatural In the year 2041, World War III has wiped out two-thirds of the human population and, in the newfound structure, the belief in any god or beyond human entity is considered a preposterous notion. In order to prevent citizens from bearing possibly incriminating thoughts, the government has assembled a special weapon enforcement division to capture and rehabilitate such believers. The Kirihara brothers, Noya and Naoto, who were hidden away from society by their captors for years to conceal their psychic abilities, were promised freedom once the world was ready to face their existence. Now wandering in the appalling new societal climate where psychics are not welcome, the brothers find themselves on the run from the enforcement's devoted operatives Yuya and Takuya Kuroki. I 
のえっ ?Remain Theme School When Minato Kiyomizu wakes up in a hospital, he learns that he has been comatose for 203 days. As it turns out, a car accident has caused him to lose all memory of his middle school journey. Eventually, he discovers his former glory in water polo and desires to continue where he has left off. However, embarrassingly becoming aware of the massive disparity between his old and current self, Minato begins intensive rehabilitation in hopes of starting anew, a life without water polo. Yet, Minato is promptly reminded of his past prowess and a promise on his very first day in Yamanami High School. Soon enough, despite being completely aware of his ineptitude, he joins the school's water polo club. While needing to relearn the sport's basics, he, along with his clubmates, must recruit new members to attain the required seven-man roster. With that, Minato tries to rekindle his deeply buried talent for water polo and become one of Japan's renowned players once again. Oh, Rocket and blast off here, and then blow up into little bits of Buna meaning. <laughs> Majo de Oyasumi. Genres comedy, fantasy. The Demon Lord Tasagare's castle is a dark and frightening place filled to the brim with various monsters. Any soul unfortunate enough to be imprisoned here is sure to be terrified by the horrors within. However, the human princess Aurora Suya Cialis Kaiman is a different case. Rather indifferent to her situation, Cialis worries about one thing and one thing only, sleep. Ever since the demon lord kidnapped her from her kingdom, she has not had a single good night's rest. To alleviate her dozen dozing issue, the princess makes do with what she can find in the castle. Whether it be the fur of a fluffy demonic teddy bear, or the silky blanket-like bodies of ghost shrouds, everything is but a means to ensure a peaceful slumber. With so many potential materials to craft items that can help her sleep at her disposal, nothing will stop the sleepy princess. Not even death. Well, at least she's got her priorities. <gasps> Wonder Egg Priority Genres, Drama, Fantasy Following the suicide of her best and only friend Koito Nagase, Ai Uto is left grappling with her new reality. With nothing left to live for, she follows the instructions of a mysterious entity and gets roped into purchasing an egg, or specifically a Wonder Egg. Upon breaking the egg in a world that materializes during her sleep, Ai is tasked with saving people from the adversities that come their way. In doing so, she believes that she has moved one step closer to saving her best friend. With this dangerous yet tempting opportunity in the palms of her hands, Ai enters a place where she must recognize the relationship between other people's demons and her own. As past trauma, unforgettable regrets, and innate fears hatch in the bizarre world of Wonder Egg Priority, a young girl discovers the different inner struggles tormenting humankind and rescues them from their worst fears. Kaguya-sama no Kurosetai, Tensai Tachi no Renai Zonusan. Genres? Comedy? Psychological? Romance? School? Seinen. At the renowned Shujin Academy, Miyuki Shirogane and Kaguya Shinomiya are the student body's top representatives. Ranked the top student in the nation and respected by peers and mentors alike, Miyuki serves as the student council president. Alongside him, the Vice President Kaguya, eldest daughter of the wealthy Shinomiya family, excels in every field imaginable. They are the envy of the entire student body, regarded as the perfect couple. However, both of them have already developed feelings for the other, neither are willing to admit them. The first to confess loses, will be looked down upon, and will be considered the lesser. 
With their honor and pride at stake, Miyuki and Kaguya are both equally determined to be the one to emerge victorious on the battlefield of the world. <laughs> Shinka no Mi, Shiranai Uchi ni Kachigumi Jinsei. Genres? Fantasy. Hiragi Seichi is an ugly, revolting, dirty, smelly fat ass. These are the insults hurled at him one after another about his appearance. Such was Seichi's daily school life of bullying. Then for some reason, one day when school was out, a voice claiming to be a god said over the PA system to prepare to be transported to another world. What's more, not Seichi alone, but the entire school. A fantasy world where game-like elements such as levels, stats, and skills exist. However, the god still has preparations to complete for the transfer and would send them over as soon as the hero summoning ritual was ready. The classes all formed groups to wait for the transfer, but Seichi alone was discluded and, as such, was summoned to a different era. After being transported, the first thing Seichi ate was the fruit of evolution. This would come to greatly change his life. This story is about how Seiji went from being severely bullied by his classmates, even not being recognized for his accomplishments, and despite all that, staying positive and surviving in the new world. As a result, he somehow becomes one of the champions. Also, the first heroine is a gorilla? Aquio, when the promised flower blooms. Genres, drama, fantasy. Makuya is a member of a special race called the Iorf, mystical beings who can live for hundreds of years and remain separate from the lives and daily troubles of mankind. However, Makuya has always felt lonely despite being surrounded by her people as she was orphaned from a young age. She daydreams about the outside world, but dares not travel from her home due to the warnings of the clan's chief. One day, however, the outside world finds her as the power-hungry kingdom of Mizart invades her homeland. They already have what is left of the giant dragons, the Renato, under their control, and now their king wishes to add the immortality of the Iorf to his bloodline. The humans in their Renato ravage the Iorf homeland and kill most of its inhabitants. Caught in the midst of the attack, Makuya is carried off by one of the Renato that has gone berserk. It soon dies, and she is left deserted in a forest far from home, now truly alone save for the cries of a single baby off in the distance. Makuya finds the baby in a destroyed village and decides to raise him as her own, naming him Ariel. Although she knows nothing of the human world, how to raise a child that ages much faster than her, or how to live with the smoldering loneliness inside, she is determined to make it all work somehow. 